Happy Friday, folks. Welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Curtis yes. Dvorak. Happy Friday and Labor Day weekend. I want you to introduce the one and only Matt Pittman. There he is. There he is. Matt I Pittman. I love when Prangley's on the show because Prangley, right before the show goes live, he goes, no, I want to introduce you. But yes, I'm in for Casey today. We get to hang out all day having right. some fun. That's we got some right. great guests. We're going to get to events and stuff. But first, before we get to the events, we've got to find out what the weather's going to be like for us here. And obviously, I have people are really a little concerned for next this, week. So I've, I've had to do house calls and, and text. My phone's blowing up. The We're weatherman okay. house call. I do make house <laughs> I like calls. This. All right. All right. So I've been going up and saying, you know, I've been bringing flowers like these, but I've saying, you know what? You don't have to <laughs> make hotel plans this weekend. You can keep your Labor Day plans. Irma is still a good 10 days out, if, even if it does right. threaten anybody on the U.S. East Coast. Right. For surfers, they're also yeah. making some calls. Surfers you know? are getting ready, though. Seven to 11 foot surf Ooh. coming as we head into next weekend. Well, Mike, here's okay. the question. When will we know more about Excellent the First Coast? Question. When will we know more? When, when are we supposed to wor worry? When well, do we got to go on? We're not going to worry this weekend. We know we'll know what's going on by next Wednesday. Perfect. Okay. okay. So we so got usually time. five to seven days out in the storm track area. Even five to seven days out can be 400 miles. We're 10 days out the earlier, so it wouldn't affect us until late next week. The latest on Irma, way out in the open Atlantic. Notice though, going to become a major hurricane yeah. as we head through the weekend. So we'll keep an eye on that. The surf for Curtis and the steering currents. This is next Friday. Would indicate, even though it's so far out. A strong enough cold front that would protect Jackson on the first coast, but nice. uh, it won't keep you from getting some of those nice rides. Oh, that there. swell is going to come in. Mm -hmm. We Ooh. are waiting on Harvey to clear, though. So you're wondering about this weekend. We've got the remnants, the storm that just won't ever end. The never-ending storm. You've seen the never-ending movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The never-ending story? Never-ending yes. story? Yeah. Same right. thing. Same kind Valcor? of thing. Remnants. So we're going to get some downpours from Harvey late today, 4 to 8 o'clock. Could it be a few high school delays, especially inland? And then another wave coming by Tuesday, Wednesday. So in a nutshell, we're going to keep the weekend planes. We're not going to worry. Nice. Uh, I don't want to have to make any more house calls. It looks drier by Saturday afternoon for those cookouts, Sunday and Monday. Sunday, my pick nice. of the weekend. All right. Enjoy it. This, this, this weekend has got to be a fun one. Do you feel yeah. better? I, I do feel better. Yeah. I mean, people, I was getting the text messages earlier today as well. You know, hey, can you find out exactly what the deal is? And okay, right great. now, we, we, we don't know what the deal we is can, yet. So. We, can, exactly. we can relax. The, the weather stayed away, but something that happened last night, and we have a friend out there, if you see this right here, folks, mm -hmm. right there. Good looking. Southern there League. Go. Southern League playoffs. The Jumbo yeah. Shrimp yeah. last night clinched. The playoffs against the Blue Wahoos, but it's not over yet because we've still got a homestand left. And we go out to our FCL reporter, Trent Gilbert. He's live out at the baseball grounds. <laughs> Trent, what's going on out there, brother? That's right, Curtis. It is hot, hot, hot here, but that's why we are at the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. I mean, we had an awesome time last night as we clinched an amazing title. I'm joined by GM Harold Cross. Tell me what happened last night against the Wahoos. Yeah, it was kind of fantastic. I mean, we had started to play good baseball the second half of the season. Um, never thought that we'd make, make the, a playoff push. Yeah. Had the opportunity to clinch last night, so we we're the second half. South Division Southern League champions, which basically means we get a spot in the playoffs and an opportunity to continue to play baseball, hopefully uh, with the purpose of winning the championship. Incredible. You guys were at the ready. The swag is sweet yet again. <laughs> Who does it like the Jumbo <laughs> Shrimp? They do it right. So we are looking forward to the playoffs with the Wahoos. Uh, it's going to be a great uh, home game see yeah. all weekend long, especially yeah. starting tonight because Friday fireworks. Friday fireworks. We play throughout the weekend. Tomorrow we do our giveaway, our last giveaway of the season, 1,000 Main Street bobblehead bridges that we're giving away uh, for tomorrow to the first 1,000. Obviously, Sunday's Family Sunday, <laughs> and Monday we're going to end off the, off the season with a 2 o'clock game. Uh, you can see a, a sample of the Main, Main Street bobble bridge here. This um, is lifelike. Harold, yeah, what? It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> Um, it's got some unique things going on on the bridge <laughs> as well. If you uh, take take a look at that, if you have the opportunity to come, um, it's, it's, <laughs> they'll and, figure and that take, out for themselves. Part. But there's some slight shade involved yeah. um, as far as our commute. <laughs> but um, love this that you can find this tomorrow night. Tonight, of course, is Friday fireworks, and you guys are also doing something really special for our friends and family back home in Texas. What are you doing for relief victims? So for for Harvey and for relief victims, we are collecting hygiene products, unopened, obviously hygiene products that we're going to collect tonight throughout the game, put them all together um, and ship them away so they can have at least a little bit of, of happiness, if you will. Yes, we thank you so much for doing that. So 
come by the front office all day until 5 o'clock with your hygiene products. Come to the game tonight. You can drop off those uh, for our friends and family in Texas. And enjoy the jumbo shrimp all day as they celebrate uh, this amazing champ title. Yeah, it's awesome. And then our first playoff game is next Friday night. There and we we'll go. shoot fireworks after the next after our first playoff game. We're taking on those Wahoos. It's going to be intense, guys. Trending with Trent at the baseball grounds. Back to you, Curtis. There we go. Appreciate so it, man. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, thanks, Harold, and thanks, Trent. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, the uh, the shrimp going to be out there all weekend. Uh, go check them out. That bobblehead is so good. You got to so, check it out. I was just about to say, a lot of people give out the bobbleheads. Yeah. There's not many teams that bring out a bobble bridge. Bobble bridge. And it's by the way, kind, you know, nobody has a bobble. The, the, <laughs> the shade true. Trent was talking about is look real closely at the at the Main Street Bridge. <laughs> they designed it with cars going opposite directions in the middle lanes. And traffic cones in the outer lane because <laughs> everybody like knows life. that's Just how the like real life. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. And the shrimp, uh, obviously, the reason they uh, won the uh, made the playoffs this year is because earlier this year you saw the debut of their new uniforms and the new logo and everything. And you know, I mean, look, you, you give a little bit of good luck to a team when you when you put their their gear on. There's some excitement. And there you go. There you go. That was that that's was all the, it took. That oh. was the uniform launch. And I was myself and several others, John Phillips. We were one of the first people to wear those uniforms. So you're welcome, Jumbo <laughs> Shrimp. Thank you. Very cool. All right, uh, Jags Falcons, we uh, beat the Super Bowl losers last night. The That's Super right. Bowl runner -up. That's we right. wrapped up the preseason with a two and two. We split mm -hmm. them, but you made a good point. We did beat the Super Bowl champs, That's and right. we did beat the Super Bowl runner up. On the road in their house. I did get an interesting text last night and was like, oh, this is so great. Like, wow, are the Falcons not good? And I go, no, 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 they're good. Good teams in the last game of the preseason don't play any of their players. And we didn't yeah. play any starters either, so our True. backups are better than your backups. Nana, nana, boo, boo, stick your head and doo-doo. Take that. But I'm excited about the season. We will get it kicked off next weekend. Yeah, right. It'll be fun. Against Houston. At Houston. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, it looks okay. like they're still holding the game there. Um, something else is pretty cool. Uh, just recently, uh, we finally got the first two manatees to come to the Manatee Critical Care Center at the Jacksonville Zoo. Uh, I showed this to you last year when it was built, but there's, uh, there's a shot yeah, of the, the first two manatees being brought in from, uh, they were brought in from Orlando wow. to continue their rehab here at the Jacksonville Zoo um, in the state-of-the-art uh, brand new Manatee Critical Care Center. It is so cool. So if you go to the Jacksonville Zoo, there's actually a viewing window for the public that they pull the gate back and you can walk right up to that viewing window and see these two lovely, look at waking up wow. right there. just yes, yeah. look at that. such adorable animals. Um, I'm telling you, the Jacksonville Zoo, so, Jacksonville Zoo does some amazing work over there. So go to JacksonvilleZoo.org. Mm -hmm. They kind of have everything laid yeah. out for you. Buy your passes. Yeah. It's great for the schools out there if you're looking for a field trip this fall. The zoo is definitely the place You were to in that pool. I know, I did. Yeah. Remember? So, you yeah. remember? Oh, I'll never forget it. But it's good. I, I like seeing you in the pool, but I, it's good to see the manatee. That's right. We'll put yeah. my picture up of me dressed as a manatee by the end of the show. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's right. They, uh, they'll be able to rehab those guys. Good news is there's no injuries on them. They're just, they just need to fatten them up before they Excellent. can put them back out in the wild. So go check them out at the Jacksonville Zoo. That's right. uh, what else is there to do this weekend? It is a packed weekend, and we'll stay over at the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp where games start tonight. There's a game tonight. Of course, Trent mentioned the fireworks. That's right. fun. I do want to mention, too, that they're playing the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. This is a good game. Yes, we've clinched, but we still need some wins in there. The, tonight's going to be fun, and they do happy hour. Happy hour. Mm. Tiki Terrace That's time. That's right. That's nice. going to be good, so you can head over there. That's thanks to Miller Light and the Wild Wing Cafe. But I'll, I do say, on Labor Day, if you're looking for something fun to do, it's a day game at 2.05, uh -huh. and on Mondays, it's First Coast News Day. So Very cool. Go All to right. jacksshrimp.com. Help celebrate. Playoffs. Making the playoffs, making this the playoffs, is, and we're so playing, and, and the, the series is against the team we'll be playing in the playoffs. So that's yep. kind of cool too. We're playing the Wahoos four games now, and we'll play them uh, for the playoffs next week. And tickets start out at only five dollars. So JacksShrimp.com is where you can get details. From there, this guy was on the show yesterday. He's yesterday. hilarious. You may recognize Ralphie May. Thanks to Last Comic Standing, but now he has like four Comedy Central specials, two Netflix specials. You can't miss him. He's actually about to start. Uh, stay in Vegas as well, playing at Harrah's. But you no, can see him yeah, this he's been weekend. There. He's been, he's been oh, a, resi it's a residency in, in Vegas for the last uh, several months. Yeah, he, um, uh, he's been in the, in the business 30 years. I know, isn't that crazy? 30 years doing stand-up. Well, you can go to ComedyZone.com. There's two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, and one show on Sunday even. So ComedyZone.com is where you can get details. Don't miss out on seeing Ralphie May for only $25. And this one, again, I didn't know. I, I, I 
Where do, the Daly's place, I never know who's going to play there until you tell me. It, well, the lineup just keeps getting better, better. and better. You it, like the 90s music. It, I, I know, and that, that's what I love. So the Goo Goo Dolls. He was a DJ. That's all he played. Oh. Well, no, I, I did. For nine yeah. years, I was a host on alternative radio. So all these bands were like my bands. Oh, but yeah. Goo Goo Dolls is another one this weekend you can see over at Daly's Place. Yeah. Daly'sPlace.com is where you can go ahead and buy tickets. But speaking of being in the biz for 30 years, Goo Goo Dolls celebrating 30 years. That's hard. As wow. a band put together, and so far, let me look at these stats. Uh, sold more than 12 million albums since 1986. They've had 14 top 10 hits. So if you want to sing along with that band, that is tomorrow night. They're on tour with Philip Phillips. Philip Phillips. That's right. Nice. That's right. nice. We had her on last week. Uh, this Morgan is cool. Fairchild. All right, I was a little jealous when I saw this interview right. that you and Casey did with Morgan Fairchild. She is over at the Alhambra Theater for the Dixie Swim Club. So what was it like? She is amazing. She's absolutely amazing. Uh, this show, the Dixie Swim Club. Um, it is not just a chick show. This is actually a really funny, uh, well-written show, and you get to see Morgan Fairchild and uh, the whole cast there. Um, I think they're here through like September. September 24th, 4th. is where they're going to be here. You can go to alhambrajacks.com. All right, tickets are right around fifty dollars, but again, with the Alhambra Theater, it's amazing because you get a three-course meal oh, yeah. along with along with the show. So. There you go. Go to events.jacksonville.com, events.jacksonville.com. We have everything laid out for your weekend plan. So if you want to know what's going on, whether it be comedy, Morgan Fairchild, or Jacksonville Shrimp, we got it there for you. Excellent. Stick with Mike and the weather team here to check out. And we'll keep you updated on with our weather apps, updating the tropics throughout the weekend. And the Jacks Run 5K, a lot of folks running in that. Looking right. good at Bay Meadows. That'll be on Monday. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Good stuff. Appreciate it, guys.